Hey YouTube, so today is my official three weeks on T, but this is not going to be my update video. I'll do one of those a little bit later today. This is actually going to be my video on how I do my T injection. Um, so this is my fourth shot. This is going to be the second needle I've had in my body today. I just went and got my septum pierced a little while ago. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So... Yeah, two needles in one day. <laughs> Rolling. Alright, so, um, I just got out of the shower. I always take a shower before I do my shot. I don't know, I guess it's kind of just like a ritual. You know, I'm not OCD or anything, but I am kind of like a creature of habit. So I tend to do shit the same exact way every single time. It just helps, um keep from missing a step or being thrown off or any anxiety because it's kind of like you're doing it the same way there's a repetition there is like a familiar familiarity I can't talk for some reason in the routine and it kind of helps calm me um one thing that I do every time I take a shot is that I have my intramuscular injection um info sheet and not because I don't know how to do it, but just to make sure that I complete all the steps correctly. So I always have this sheet on hand. If you want a copy of this, you can email me. I have a scanner at my house, so I can scan it for you and then um, email it to you. You can print it out at your home. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I have all my supplies here. Let me get them for you show you guys everything I've got my one milliliter um, syringe I've got my 18 gauge one half in, one and a half inch needle for drawing 22 gauge one inch needle for injection two alcohol swabs a band-aid and my tea all right so let's put the needle together first I've already washed my hands so I'm all clean just gonna open my needle up on well, my syringe get my injection needle oh, it's all upside down my bad there you go um, my injection needle ready and the reason I use it's the wrong end the reason I use 18 gauge needles for drawing is because you can draw the T up a lot faster. All right, so my needle's put together. Now to get the t testosterone ready. Okay. All right, so I've already taken the little metal tab off, but when you first get your T, there's going to be a little metal tab that you have to like pop off with your fingernail. Um, and yeah, but I've already taken that off. So we every time you do an injection, you have to clean the rubber membrane on the testosterone because it's not clean and when you push the needle in through here you could take germs off of here inside into your testosterone which would then be injected into your leg and that is like bad news we don't want to put anything in our legs but the tea so I just wipe it off clean it real good and then don't blow on it to dry just let it air dry itself because you have germs in your mouth that would then get onto the membrane and be pushed inside your testosterone all right so let's get ready when you inject testosterone you well when you go get ready for the draw depending on how much you inject you need to pull out that amount of air at the minimum I inject 0.25 milliliters so I usually just draw three milliliters of air. The reason why you do that is because inside of here is a vacuum, which makes it harder to draw the T out if the needle doesn't already have air in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it through the membrane, upside down, push the air inside the T, and then draw out how much you want. And I usually draw out way too much because there's going to be air at the top when you first draw it out and then push it back in up to how much I need 
So yeah, that's what I usually do. And I'm gonna take this out. Then I'm gonna pull the T all the way down to the bottom of the needle and tap it to make sure I get all the T out of this needle. I don't wanna waste any testosterone in the needle. So I just always tap to make sure. You can look and see if it's in there still. And then I'm gonna recap. You're not supposed to recap, but these are my needles and I'm not worried about getting stuck. And pop off this top. Drop this needle into my sharps container. Then I'm going to open my 22 gauge one inch needle. Okay, that's wrong and again. All right, here we go. And just stick this on here. And I push my T back up, but not all the way into it, just a little bit while I prep my leg. So there we have it. There we have it. So my it looks like there's a lot more than my 0.25, but it's not pushed all the way into the needle, so it's not. Now it's time to prep my leg. So this week I'll be injecting in my right leg. So here is my small thigh. Um, I use a separate alcohol wipe just because by the time I'm usually done prepping the, getting the needle and everything together my other one has already dried but they always suggest that you use a separate one anyway so the area that I'm going to be injecting is going to be right here this area right here which is on the outside of the bone I'm only going to be injecting probably right about here but I usually clean from this area to this area so the way we clean is in a circular motion from the inside out, which keeps you from dragging any germs you might have on other parts of your leg back into where you're injecting. So a circular motion from the inside out. All right, all clean. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just wait for it to dry or fan it, but don't blow it. Again, don't blow it. So. Let's get the tea ready. Take my cap off. Push my tea up. Okay. There's a little bead. I don't know if you can see that. But there is a little bead of testosterone right outside. So I know that it's already pushed up and ready. Now I'm going to inject right here. And I'm just going to take the needle and kind of do this so you guys can see this. Make sure your leg is as relaxed as possible. The reason I do this on the bed is because my leg is just like really, really relaxed. When I found I was having my leg hang over the bed, the muscle wasn't as relaxed. So I do mine on the bed to make sure that the muscle is relaxed. And I'm just going to inject. And I'm going to let it sit in there for a second to let the tea inside the needle get all the way into my leg. Trying not to waste any. Pull out. Recap my needle. Put it in to my sharps kit. Now I'm going to rub my leg to rub the tea around. The reason why I leave the needle in for a second is so that the tea gets drawn into my muscle so that when I pull it out, it's not leaking back out of my leg. So then I'm just going to rub it around. I'm rubbing just to move that tea around in the muscle so it's not all sitting right where we injected it. And I'm going to apply a band-aid. One thing that I always forget to do, like, I don't know why, I always forget to do it, but I've never had a problem 
with it and I know so many trans guys that inject and never see it is to pull back on the plunger just a tiny bit to see if you get a flash of red for um, that it, you hit a vein or a small vessel and I always forget to do it but every time I've done my injection I never have and I know trans guys that have been injecting for like 20 years and never have and um, but be sure to do that that's one of the steps that's on the sheet of paper so that was my intramuscular injection um, here's my band-aid all good to go for another week hopefully there'll be massive changes um, I'll do another video with changes so that this one isn't too long if you want this piece of paper just let me know I can scan it and get it to you um, some tips for if you have needle phobia big tip is getting one inch needles one inch needles are a lot smaller than the one and a half inch that half inch can do a lot for you mentally if you have a fear of needles also I have 22 gauge needles which are really small some people inject with 25 gauge needles you hear all this stuff about trans guys saying the smaller the needle you get the longer it takes to inject your tea because the tea is so thick it really doesn't take that much longer and it's way more comfortable to use a super thin needle also never reuse your needles like I don't care if you're getting down to the end reusing needles is horrible because they get dull after you just do one injection so you can do more damage to your skin it's going to be more painful and nobody wants that another good tip would be to get a good night's sleep before you do your injection when you sleep at night you get increased oxygen flow into your muscles because your body's not actively moving so your body pumps more oxygen into your muscles which pulls out the lactic acid that's been building up for the whole day from activities lactic acid in your muscles causes them to be more tense causes for your muscle fibers not to relax as much so if you don't get a good night's sleep then you can have more tension in your muscle which is going to be more resistance when you're pushing the needle through which sometimes makes it hurt a little bit more um, so try and get a good night's sleep or a nap or eat a banana if you've been working out bananas are really good because the potassium in bananas pull the lactic acid out of your muscles as well mm. excuse me also breathing is important if you have a fear of needles do breathing exercise that um, application relax um, stress and anxiety relief is a good one because it has um, you know a breathing tone that can help you maintain the breathing while you're doing it so you can kinda get into the flow and just focus on the tone focus on your breathing and then inject um, if you have any questions about that you can hit me up also just be calm think about the benefits of tea and everything and that'll help you out um, it's really it is really easy for me but it's not necessarily easy for everyone else I think I'm just really ready for it and like I don't have a problem with injecting myself because you know I'm just ready for tea I'm ready for the changes and I kinda just do the mind over matter thing if you have any questions or if you want any advice on how I do my injections or what methods might help you that is totally fine um, I'm totally here for anybody you know you can hit me up you know if it gets to the point where you're having a lot of trouble you know I'll sit on the phone with you while you do your injections you know as long as it's you know a convenient time for me it's it's whatever I'm here to help you guys out I'm here to be you know as supportive as I can be in this journey um, like I said if you have any questions you can leave a comment you can hit me up on somebody you can hit me up in my email I always answer back and usually really quickly um, and I just hope that everyone is safe out there tonight for New Year's Eve I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it get 2012 out bring 2013 in this is gonna be a great year and please just be safe Hit me up if you need to. Peace.